let's get into the let's get into the real shit awesome I wish the Lincoln V8 was actually fast. <laughs> I wish this Lincoln LS was actually clean. That's what I wish. But yeah, I hope somebody shared this. That would be awesome. Like, share it in the groups. Especially mine. My tent stuff group. It needs to be shared there. I wanted to do... It's supposed to be able to stream to there too, but it wasn't working and I don't know exactly what I have to do. I gotta check with their chat. I didn't realize their chat was gonna be so on top of things. Their chat support. I was like, ah oh, shit, I've been fiddling with this for 10 minutes. I don't have much longer to fiddle with this. So I shot them a message really quick and they're just like, do these things. And it's like, it's not gonna work. And then the one thing that worked was deleting and reconnecting it. I was like, oh shit, there we go. So their chat was actually super helpful and really quick. That was nice. I really thought I was gonna have to cancel a multi-stream and go to just YouTube. Which is fine if that's what I have to do, but I just paid 50 bucks to stream in multiple places. Like this needs to work today. And that's like for the month. So this is gonna cost me money now. <laughs> I hope my laptop doesn't like time out or anything either. So if I like have to ask you like six times to make sure everything's okay, just know that it's cause I, I'm not a gaming streamer. I'm, I'm a tent streamer. I run back and forth between seeing and all this. Camera angle seems fairly premium. Nifty. Let's go here. Oh, that's not it. Sweet. Thank you, Brandon. Brandon, you're awesome. Thank you for sharing that. See, this is so cool. It's like uploads live you youtube creator studio it's where's my live stream that's going now god damn it youtube like here here it is and here but if i close this tab i can't find it anymore that's insane <laughs> it's just like it's, this this is the type of stuff that happens when you're trying to manage multiple things Ugh. It's a bit of a it's a bit of a pain in the ass, but it's completely 100% worth it. I'm very excited right now. What's up, Indrolution from Romania? Welcome to the stream. I'm waiting for like. So I was doing a test and I know a couple of people saw it. Um, it popped up on Facebook and like one of my funniest things that I, like the funniest thing that I noticed is like, it was like, I literally typed a, like something like, along the lines of like, does this shit work? And it didn't work. And I was like, ugh. And then I typed something else and it popped up. And then I noticed it was uh, filtering swear words. I was like, oh no. And I still don't know why it's doing that. I don't care. I think it's hilarious. But we're gonna have to play around with it some more. So my, my thinking on all that is like, okay, so if this makes it into Window Film Pros, <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of safe on what my ears are gonna hear for a little while before I go check the comments afterwards. Patrick, what's up? Patrick, are you here on Facebook or YouTube? Do this, does this shit get shared to your group too? I'm really curious. 
share it. See, now I can I can tell people to share this. Like with YouTube, it's like I could still tell them to share a link, but now streaming native on the platform, like. Yeah, yeah, Patrick, I'm multi-broadcasting. You can find my dumb face on uh, on Facebook now. <laughs> okay. Go check the Tint Stuff Facebook page. That's where I'm streaming to. And just share the hell out of it. <laughs> Somebody, uh, shit, I'm sorry, I forgot your name. Somebody forget, uh, or did share it, like, five minutes ago to Facebook. So if it's already shared, it's fine. Don't, like... I don't need you guys to like spam it everywhere um, if it's already somewhere. <laughs> this is the type of shit that I just find. I don't know. It's a tin off between me and Patrick. <laughs> I need to get him doing this soon. It's complicated, but we'll get him up and running. It's actually, if, if everything works smoothly, it's actually slightly easier to set up off my laptop remotely than trying to manage all this off my phone. And right now with the, with the text-to-speech voice that I'm hearing, I've, I've able to understand a lot more right now, which is really good. I wonder if I'm gonna get through like most of the stream without talking about tinting. So if any of you guys saw my GoPro video, which the majority of people did not, <laughs> it's, it's my worst performing video of the year, which is sad, but also funny. I Call me crazy, but I think that video is ahead of its time. It's shared to two Facebook groups. Awesome. Oh, that was jank. Did it just hang out? Oh no, it looks good, cool. But yeah, my GoPro video did really, really bad. But like, I don't know, call me crazy. I think it's a little ahead of its time. <laughs> Nobody's doing this and nobody knows those features on the GoPro. I looked everywhere. I couldn't find a single person mention it in a tutorial, in a video, nothing. Nobody talked about hot swapping. Good. Good, I'm glad somebody shared it to my group. Good. Oh, Brandon, Brandon shared it, thank you. It was good, thank you. The GoPro video was good, but it's clearly hitting the wrong audience. <laughs> um, it's, it's clear, the, the GoPro video is clearly hitting the wrong audience, but Patrick says, give it time, I think it'll take off. Yeah, it's like, it's giving it dog shit analytics too, which is not good, but if you actually search GoPro 8 live now, it's placing pretty well in GoPro 8 OBS. Like, if anybody's searching GoPro and live streaming together, it's doing really well up there, so it's just a matter of time. Just needs certain people to find it before it'll start, like, really taking off. There's a lot of good information in that one, and I'm gonna make a follow-up video with uh, with what I'm doing here, essentially not the multicasting part yet, uh, but the uh, the part where you know you got the overlays, you're going to OBS, you got your start stop screens and all that. That was oh I didn't I wasn't even sure it was gonna work. I had a theory and I just started mad researching live streaming shit, and I've been like obsessively listening to everything. So we're almost ready to install.
Somebody, oh, somebody watched the video that I linked in the description for my GoPro video. Yeah, so it's nuts. So it was like, it, that shit blew my mind. When, like I was looking into like IRL, which stands for in real life GoPro or uh, streaming essentially, because I'm like, oh wait, if I want to do it from like work, I should probably look at what IRL streamers are doing and just adapt that to what I'm doing. And then I saw this guy, he's like, so let's say you're gaming and then you want to take a food break, right? Well, you know, if you leave your stream, you lose your people. But he turned on his phone and then next thing you know, he walks out the door with his phone, switches the camera to his phone and just walks out the door. I was like, what? What? Wait, wait, what the fuck did you do? Unbelievable. It's a fantastic tutorial. There's a lot of work in there. Like it's a 20 minute tutorial that took me about, Jesus, like five hours. But, oh man, it got me so geeked. <laughs> this, this is just gonna be renamed gushing about live stream shit and potentials. What's up, Diamond? How you doing? Good to have you. Where, where is my scrubby? Oh no. Oh no, no, no. I used it on the last car. But right now, that's no good. When we get distracted, we lose shit and we really want it for this car. Yeah. Oh yeah, Patrick, you're new to this part. So, yeah, I have to, oh, here it is. Good. Um, so what we're doing here real quick, again, is this, the laptop I had to bring in because this gives me their Windows application for the chat. So this chat application takes everything. So it takes all the comments from Facebook, Twitch, and YouTube and combines them right here which is awesome. And then it also has a text to speech feature. So then I just connect my headphones to it and I can hear what everybody's talking about. It's a beautiful program. So I wasn't able to figure out that part on my phone. I don't think it's possible yet, but it is possible if you bring in a laptop. So you can set up your whole streaming thing and then I'm still remoting back to my home computer, but it works out. <laughs> you better, you better copy it. <laughs> it's fun, this whole thing, like being able to actually work and talk and show everything, like this is crazy. Mohammed's a web developer and he can make it possible. Dude, private message me. So I'm using their, their application right now, but they have like a, a web application. Um, it opens in like Chrome or whatever, but they don't have the ability to add text-to-speech on that, so. So I'm bringing my laptop with. I would like to leave my laptop at home, but yeah, there's a, there, it's like connected to three different sources all together. So it's pulling from Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook, which I, I have absolutely no viewership on, on Twitch, but it's good to be able to stream there too. Plus I wasn't sure which category to stream in. I know like just chatting is like the biggest. That would be awesome. All we have to do is grab all their chats and aggregate them together with this text-to-speech API. That is definitely out of my realm of knowledge. But if you want to do it, fucking go for it. <laughs> I'll use it. I use the hell out of that shit. 
Um, but yeah, I wasn't sure which uh, platform to, or like for Twitch, which category to put it in. Facebook's the same way with gaming, but I know that just chatting is like the biggest category, but instead I put it in makers, like crafts and stuff, because I think this is enough of that. And the viewership is like, there's like, I don't know, I saw, I saw like 200 people in the, in the arts and crafts. Like there's 200 concurrent viewers in there last I looked. And there's only like seven, maybe seven or eight streams. So it has a good chance of at least picking up a couple people. Um, oh, so in the Philippines, I was, uh, I was up north um, near a city called uh, Dagupan. So we were in a province, the Pangasinan province in uh, Mangaldan, I believe is how you pronounce it, Mangaldan. Why am I? Oh, here we go. I'm setting right on it. Andrew Lucian says good streaming. Thank you. But yeah, we were up there in the Philippines with uh, my wife's family for about a little over three weeks. And then, I, and then when I got back, like afterwards, somebody added me to a Philippine uh, window tenders group with like 2,000 people. I was like, oh, shoot, I wish I knew this was a thing. I was actually looking around on Facebook to see if there's any locals that do window tinning. Mosquitoes suck there. It wasn't like, I wasn't getting bit up all the time, but it was definitely like at night, if you're not in front of a fan, I got bit quite a few times some nights. But we get that same type of stuff here too, so. Michigan, we get plenty of mosquitoes in, in like the summertime. Oh, this looks good. perfect it pinched there hang on let me fix this stupid old lincoln ls corner man ah uh, that's not a good one either they're felt gasket and they're tight as really tight in the top corners this is not gonna be my proudest moment right now it just folded, it bent it in, which is not great. So I gotta see if I can recover this. Yeah, um, oh, that'll lay down pretty good. I'm uh, I'm using the Tri-Edge, uh, the yellow, and then the Tint Wiz Edition, which is very similar to the blue. So, I don't know, these are really, really good. They're softer, and they haven't been like scratching or anything either, so. Plus I got a bunch of them. I, I just like, but if they didn't work, I wouldn't use them. I love this collaboration. It's just so cool. There we go. Just a little, shoop. So before I started the stream, I started to hear a little bit about Facebook uh, partnership with like streaming, but I'm guessing it's for gamers. I don't know if they allow other types of streams. I need to look into that. I've heard they've 
actually people have been growing pretty well on there. So I don't know, this actually might be a really smart move. But I know everybody hangs out in the groups and shit, so regardless, I'm pretty stoked about that. Let's pop these in here. Let me look at this. Oh, it's still working. Cool. It doesn't show me, same as the Ford Contours. Yeah, those, those are, wouldn't be fun to get either. How many people are watching now? What the fuck? There's 46 people watching on Facebook right now? <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, it's fantastic. Hi everybody on Facebook. The wait is still monetized but offer it to the Facebook groups. Yeah, I'm not sure um, what I'd quite want to do even if they have memberships, but it sounded like they had like similar Twitch features and stuff like that. Um, Juan asked what do I think about Rayon or Reno, I'm guessing. Um, I know some people really like it, and it sounds like a, a South Korean film that's got a lot of like, you know, the nano ceramic, nano carbons stuff going on. Um, some people say that it's good, and some people said that it's failed, so I, I can't recommend it for longevity, unfortunately, but it's a way to offer cheap ceramics, though. What do I think about Logan Paul? <laughs> uh, I think he's the smartest, most arrogant dumbass ever. Like, one of them. He's just like... So I was... Somebody showed me one of the videos that... Uh, like, he, he does a podcast. And then he went on like Fox News. This is, this is like, reminds me of the stuff that uh, Jackass would do back in the day. So he got all this like attention because he's like, oh, you know, my, uh, my financial advisor just said uh, we're losing money now and, and all this other stuff. And then he got a ton of publicity for it. So I don't mean to talk about this for very long, but he knows how to get in the news. He, he's, he doesn't have the greatest of names, of course, but he's the genius marketer right now. He knows how to stir the pot and get attention. And that's something that's hard to do. All right, let's pop this one in. But still, this shit blows my mind. 40, 45 people on Facebook on Monday Monday morning, so you guys are sharing it and stuff like that. That's awesome. Dude, like, to put this into perspective, like, a decent-sized Twitch streamer is, like, 40. Like, 40 to, to 60. Well, I guess maybe not, like... Like, I don't know. The, like, people consider that, like, relatively decent. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? What am I on YouTube right now? I'd check, but like... Oh, Reno, like, there's a lot of them that'll, that'll check for like a business. Um, there's... Shoot. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. There's a... Uh... 43 on YouTube, 44 on Facebook. Dude, that's nuts. <laughs> like, that's nuts. Okay, so most most people are going to be charging or, like, check for a business license, or at least they used to, so that's not a new thing. And it makes sense, right? Because they don't, like... Oh, is this dead? Oh, I knew it. Fucking knew it. Whenever you get these old cars in the winter, they die on you. So this thing's already dead. Love it. 
Um, but checking for business licenses and stuff like that, that's nothing new. Um, and it makes sense because if you want to like, they don't want you just buying their film. Oh, come on. All right, Patrick, I'll see ya. Where's the, where's, where's my battery? Really, Lincoln? Like, a lot of them will have like a ground and you can ground it anywhere for a negative. Can anybody help me out with where, where the fuck they can get a positive terminal on this stupid thing? This is a fuse box. I hope it's not under the back seat or some stupid thing. I got a window half installed. Ugh. This is great. This is, this is quality. Oh, Daniel Reyna, I know, uses Reyna. That's good. Top left? Ah, oh, under back seat. Really? Is this like... Or trunk. Well, that's like anywhere, the back seat or the trunk. It's anywhere other than where I just looked. <laughs> Patrick Latman says in front of the fuse box. I didn't see one. Oh, good God. There it is. There's the battery. Whoever said that, thank you. I know I was sarcastic for a little while. Ugh. There we go. <laughs> Hello, Facebook. Hello, 40, 40 something people. Welcome to the first stream where I've had to jump a stupid car. <laughs> uh, hey, no, no worries. Anybody like, it's fine. <laughs> this is, this is me being 100% me. I just, I don't know. I run my mouth a lot, but I don't mean like any offense or whatever. I appreciate everybody here. I just have fun with this. So we're gonna, we're gonna power this and then we should be able to roll our window up. Let's keep this on like 20. Those are my keys, these are here. It sounds like it's got some power. There it goes. There we go. Cool. Well, thank you guys. We got it. We're back in business. We can finish tinning. We did it. We did it. There we go. Whenever you like tint one of these older cars, like a Lincoln, a Pontiac, something from like Something like 2000s, you're gonna run into dead batteries. Like once, they, they like, it's just the batteries worn out. They never change them, especially if they're dirty. Like you can almost count on them dying on you. That's never fun, especially in the winter time. But we got it. At least it wasn't under the front seat because there's some that you have to like you press in the the back seat like backwards. Oh, they just do it. Like as long as it's got enough juice to start up, like people don't care. People don't care. Yeah, so no, this this uh, this plus here wasn't the terminal. This is just part of the clip, so everything here is useless. There's usually like a terminal somewhere, though, even if they run it to the trunk. And then it's on the regular mirror deck, right? Yeah, I just it off. 
so unfortunately we couldn't find where that was, if there was one. So let's throw this to the other side. Dance around some stuff that's in the way now. Da da. Put that over there. That over there. Strategy Gaming says the glass aid has been really helpful. Cool. Good to hear it. Um, even with 5%, that's nice. 5%, like even here, I don't know, it needs better lighting here. I still have to use a light on it, but if you're in a pretty decent lit shop, then, then I've noticed you can see it all right. Jeremy says, close it before the customer sees it. No, I'd give the customer a hard time at that point. Like, why are you giving me a car that's going to die so quick? They're not allowed to walk back here anyways. I think the biggest question is, why are you live streaming my car? <laughs> that's, that's a real question here. Like, really? You're live streaming? What? People do that? Nah, Dina Arena says three years, bad batteries. Uh, I mean, I usually don't, um, but I only have the car on for like half hour. Oh, so the, uh, so the scrub pad, since somebody asked, ooh, this gives me a good opportunity to test this part out. Um, so it's called the Triage Scrub It, HTTP, colon, slash, slash, uh, tent dot com, slash, tent stuff. I wonder if that works. Cool. So go to that link, um, Tent Depot, that's my list of recommended stuff. And sh it should be on that list. Asked if I use a plotter at my own place. Um, I don't have my own place yet, but no, I, I'd still hand cut even at my own place. I'm so, I'm so frustrated with plotters again. It's a vicious cycle for me. So I like them um, as like a production tool. So if you just need to get a bunch of shit done, then they're helpful for that. But if you're only tanning like a handful of cars a day, they'll still help a little bit with time, but not that much. And the patterns are just not my favorite. That's, that's what it boils down to. It's like, you you basically like, I cross my fingers. I cross my fingers every time that I go to install plotted patterns if I haven't used that pattern on a particular car before. Cause it's just like, it's so, they're, they're all over the place. Like a car like this, I, I don't know. They might work, they might not. And that's, and the, the, what am I trying to say? I'm losing my, I'm losing my mind here. Oh, I was talking about plotter software. Expel's cracking down on like dealer only shit right now. And they're like my only hope for like good patterns. But I also mentioned a couple of videos. I thought there was gonna be some fuckery somewhere. So like, I don't think they've implemented this as a mass change yet, but I think it's gonna really, really impact a lot of people soon. They're interested in dealer only stuff. 
but I don't know. I don't I don't support that. I understand it. I don't support it. Somebody said this looks like an easy car. It is for the most part. Like even though they're felt seals, they're really like wide and you got room at the bottom to work. The most annoying thing is gonna be uh, this back window. It's got a, f a felt, uh, it's got a felt lip that pops up and it's full of bugs, <laughs> dead bugs, thankfully, but it's not like, I don't know. It looks like there's some bug guts and shit back there too. So we're gonna have to be careful. Oh yeah, yeah, somebody asked if I uh, streamed on Friday. I did, I absolutely managed to. It was later in the day. The rebroadcast is up on the channel. Um, I forgot, I forgot what it was now. I know I did like a PT Cruiser, um, but there was something else later on that I managed to stream. I'm shooting for Tuesdays and uh, and Fridays, because that's when I'm here, but today we're streaming because of the holiday. So schedule next week is gonna be Monday and Friday too as well. Unless we have a unique opportunity in the middle of the week or something. Oh yeah, it was a challenger. Oh, and we put those graphics on it. I remember now. Thanks, Efren. I looked at my list and I almost couldn't believe that I had a uh, a PT Cruiser. Like, I was like, really? Was that last week? Time flies. <laughs> it feels like it was so far back because I've just done other stuff in between there. Strategy asked if I shrunk the windows. Yeah. Yeah, I was I was talking about um, live streaming shit while I was shrinking them. <laughs> it's real quick. See, that's why I don't understand why why some people like tote not shrinking them. Like, it's fine if you don't and it works for you. I guess that's okay, but it takes like a minute to shrink everything, to shrink all the doors. And then I don't pull panels or anything like that either, so I don't know. Those are two things. Those are two things that I'm really surprised have like made the type of headway that they have. Uh, oh, woo. -woo. I remember this was a pinchy corner. We're gonna go touch that up. Juan, was that Juan that asked that? Juan, what type of film do I use? I'm using uh, Avery Dennison NR. Ooh, we're gonna have to borrow an extension or try and get that one from over there. Cause there's two places, like there's no outlets along this wall. So it's one all the way up here or it's gonna pull out of the wall. It's gonna pull out of the wall. Come on, come on, come on. I think we might be okay. There's the one that's all the way up there and then the one all the way at the front and I'm always in between. And my power's not working. Fantastic. It makes it even better. <sighs> Just when you don't think. There we go. I pulled it out slightly. So we're going to touch this up. But yeah, I'm using uh, Avery Dennison NR. I've liked it. I do like it. 
He hasn't let me down yet. I was using their uh, NR Pro. But I switched as soon as this stuff came out. Not because it was cheaper, just because it's clearer. Alright, we're gonna cross our fingers on this one now. Hey, no fold. Perfect. Oh, Kevin, yeah, they do. They use, uh, at the bottom. They always cut it out with, uh, like a saw. Whatever that spatula of metal thing is. So, you'll have to forgive the noise, but we do the best we can with what we got. Ugh. It it's loose everywhere else and then wants to pick that one little spot and then just be a nightmare. There we go. I hate that. See, that, that to me is the worst thing about Avery NR. Uh, Joe, I think that's Joe. Oh, okay. Good. Glad the nose noise isn't too bad. Um, oh, a lot of questions. I want to get to the one that asked about the shop though, real quick, because that's a good question. Who asked that? Kevin, no, not Kevin, Joe, Joe Hansen. Thank you for the question. Um, so, I, that's, that's actually um, like how to get the confidence to move from like a garage to a shop. Um, I'd say w what you'd wanna look for is like working yourself out of your garage to where tinning at your house is no longer like you're getting too many cars. So, because the problem with moving into a shop with slower installs is you have to charge more or your overhead is going to like start to kill you and you'll wonder why you're even in a shop. So if you know you can move there and get more for a tint job or like you're just tired of working from home and you think that it's a smart move, I guess maybe go for it. But um, sticky tents in Wisconsin, they work themselves pretty much out of their garage and an opportunity opened up and they took it. Cause there's just, there's a lot of overhead that comes with a shop and you can absolutely do it. Um, but if you're slower, just try and, try and charge for that. Try and like position yourself as more of like a, like, yeah, I'm more expensive, but I do clean work. I take the time. So, Getting the confidence just comes with, I think, experience. I, I, I don't really have a perfect piece of advice for you, but just keep working at it. Um, like you have it, you can do it. Just try and set like time limits, limits for yourself and push yourself because you're gonna either have to charge more or you're gonna have to tint faster. So, also people like, I don't know, you, you're always your pickiest customer and the fact that you're even asking about it is a good thing, because that means you care. So if you care, you're not gonna let go shit work, so your customers will definitely be happy. So I, I, it's hard to quite know the perspective that you're looking at it from, but that's a, that's a good way to look at it. You are always your harshest critic and you'll do good. If you care, you'll do good. Juan, what size rolls do you use? 
Travis asked, what's the best way to keep dust out of an install? Okay, um, so one, I'm using 36 inch rolls for like the back windows and the doors of most sedans. And then I use 20 inch rolls for like trucks and SUVs. But if it's like an F-150 or a Sierra or something, then I'll, f I'll flip the, uh, I'll flip the roll sideways. And then Travis asks why or how do you keep dust out of uh, out of installs? So keeping the keeping the dust out of installs mostly comes down to um, your technique. So like I didn't tape any of those seals and it was dirty, but I've just taking the time to refine my technique over the past, I don't know, 11 years now. And every year I seem to find something newer or better slightly to improve it. Um, there's a lot of people that'll clean their windows three or four times over and that's not really where the dirt's coming from. It's all just technique. Okay, B Python, welcome. We're multi streaming. We're streaming in so many places now. Surprisingly, I haven't been asked so much about does it go on the inside? Mostly because customers aren't watching this, <laughs> it's other tinners, so they at least know that much. When my Walmart video blew up, I did get that. Like there's people that would literally watch the first like three, four minutes of the video and go, they would get outraged. They'd be like, you're supposed to install it inside, you fucking idiot. And I'd be like, oh, um, <laughs> are you gonna watch the video? Or are you just gonna like look at the first two seconds and make a ridiculous comment? Oh, that's what people do. Is it gonna tell me how many people I got here? We got 38 on Facebook. How many have we got on YouTube? It's got it's got this number somewhere, but I always forget where they put it. 56 on YouTube. Wow. Wow. So combined, at some point we've done over a hundred concurrent on both. That's that's insane. I mean, I've done that by myself on, on Facebook or on YouTube, but that was more like when I was planning it to be at 9.30 at night when most people are home. This is like during the day when people are working on an unplanned live stream. It's just like, hey, we're doing this now. Come join. Ask questions. Hang out. It's a good time. What's up, versatility? Welcome, glad you could catch another one. Yeah, you never know quite when they're gonna be here. <laughs> I would have scheduled this one, but I was doing too much other live stream, like, planning. So for those of you that are new, hit, like, Turn on notifications or something, like if you don't if you don't want to miss one of these, because I don't know when they're gonna be. Like I shoot for Tuesdays and uh, Fridays, but since we got the holidays, we're on uh, Monday today. But next week too, we're gonna be on Monday. But I don't know what time. It all depends on like when I when the right car shows up or when I have the right amount of time to do a full car. And if I don't have a full car, then it doesn't happen, so. Hit the notifications, hit the bell. Versatility, I need, looks like I need to turn them on. Well, you made it for this one, so that's good. Um, let's see, was there a question? There's people responding, that's cool.
Aslan asks, do I install it on the inside? Yeah, of course. There's the question. <laughs> Is that because somebody commented? Um, oh, there it is. Yep, yep, there it is. See, you give somebody an opportunity to make sarcasm happen. There it is. So let's cut this out. I'm a little nervous on this back window just because we got all those like bug guts and shit. So if like a little piece of garbage flips up underneath, I'm not gonna be happy. Um, how much do I charge? So I flat rate this shop and um, they retail it for like 250. Oh, thumbs up, thumbs up. So, yeah, I uh, I charge a flat rate price just because that makes it easy. Um, and they charge um, whatever they try and charge right now, which is usually about 250 Got somebody in from Mexico. What's up, man? Jimmy asked, do I ever get VWs? Very occasionally on like the, like I don't really see bugs, but like I, I get, um, I get the other ones. So like more golfs than more golfs. I, I had a live stream with, uh, I had a live stream with a Passat not too long ago. So that's on the channel. Thankfully not, not many bugs though. charge 140 for this type of car you could i mean it also depends on where you are because i gotta remember this is a little global but yeah i mean i on average most places are up to at least 200 and there's a lot that charge more than that but you know competition makes it tough you got to do what you can to stand out We're gonna touch this up. We got the quarter windows left. We got the back glass to install. I'm guessing my GoPro is still fine. I don't think I've been doing this for too long. We're gonna have to check though. Let's see here. What do we have? An hour and two. So it usually lasts for about an hour and a half. So I'm okay, I'm GoPro battery. Uh, oh, Kirill from Malaysia commenting from Facebook. Hey man, welcome to the stream. Glad you can make it. You ever tinted, uh, versatility asked if I've ever tinted a late, uh, 90s model Chevy. Yeah, yeah, I have. Um, first thing that comes to mind are like those, uh, those two side seals that don't have like any gaskets, like it's just like a hard ceramic edge. Those you just cut exact. No, sorry, I don't speak Spanish. I have to learn Tagalog before anything. Oh, people are wondering about this Jeep, I don't know. It's just the Jeep they're replacing the windshield on. Got somebody watching that's not a window tenor but learning? Welcome. That's what this is all about. I don't care if you're looking to do this as a hobby, as a full-time career. I share what I know. 
Oh, I have a good time doing it. This is fun. I absolutely love this live streaming shit. It's so much more fun than trying to make a video. <laughs> uh, what's my views on going mobile? Um, it's definitely worth it, but you gotta, there's good ways to do it and there's bad ways to do it. So you can run around from like house to house, but the problem with doing that is you have to like, it's the same logistics every time that you run to somebody's house. So that's a big problem when you have to like, if, you, if you're not, if you're charging like the same price as a regular car, like it should be a convenience fee on top of that for running to their house. Like you got other expenses. And I understand you save money by going to their house and using their stuff rather than, um, you know, having a shop and shit to pay for but it should completely be looked at as like a convenient service rather than like a budget option. So when you're running around and you have to like, you have to find a space, you have to ask them if they have like a, a heated garage up here in the north, uh, a covered space where you can open the doors, like s decent enough lighting so you can fucking see the car, like all that stuff, you gotta do that every time. But if you partner up with a shop, you can make sure that's already covered once and then you talk to them about you know what you expect and you, it's it's a partnership and you work together they handle customers they get you jobs you come and you do them and you just like you help each other so i'd recommend that it's it's what's worked out better for me but everybody's different um i just think like when you go to one place and you set up once and you can have them bring like four or five cars to you rather than like run around to like four or five different places and pack up and set up and pack up and set up and have to deal with all the stupid logistics and try and give somebody a deal and like all that just annoys me. It's too much. So what price should you start at? Um, if you're just starting tinting, um, well, just try and get into it a little bit easy. So hit up friends and family and like, you know, practice. <laughs> Somebody's Jeremy said, I hope we don't give it, give an F for the back window. Yeah, me too. Okay. So if you're just starting, what should you charge? Um, it's hard. It's hard advice to give. God, this is beating like crazy too. Um, that particular question, like, I can't tell you exactly how much to charge. What I can tell you, though, is to, like, price out your area a little bit. And just be realistic on what you can deliver. So, like, it's always slow in the beginning. So, you got to look at it like, you know, I'm still learning and stuff like that. But if you take the time to provide a quality job, just be honest with the customer. Like, hey, this is going to take me a, a while to do. Just drop it off with me and I'll make sure it gets done right. That job, if it looks fine at the end, can you can charge the exact same amount anybody else's because it looks just as good and you've provided them with a good product. Really, people don't charge convenience. If anything, like if anything, places charge less for convenience, it seems. Like, yeah, I can get you in and out. I can do it right now for you, give you a discount. It'll be in and out in like an uh, hour and a half. <laughs> It's like, that should be valuable, but a lot of people just do that for a high turnover rate. To try and make more rather than try, try to charge more for one particular car, so. Try and maximize what you can do and just price out your area. I mean, don't feel like you have to charge full boat, but don't, don't sell yourself short if you know you're gonna provide a good install. And just be honest about it, because there's a lot of people that don't know. They're just like, oh, okay, I want tent. <laughs> and trust me, they, they know way less than you do, so. All right. So this window is not only, uh, we, we got this, but <laughs> if you do a bad job, they tell one person or a hundred people, if you do a good job, they tell 10 people. Eh, maybe. I mean, I know a bad review can, can go a long way, but I don't know. 
I've done bad installs. I don't think they went out, out of their way to tell 100 people. <laughs> but the they'll tell, like, the, the main objective, really, especially when you're starting out, is to, like, try and establish some good reviews, too. So, like, I'll, I mean, this is just general business practice, but I always try and go above and beyond for everybody. If you can. Or just provide really good customer service, because there's plenty of places that don't. Uh, Justin asks, is Helios good for the price or would I recommend Avery Dennison? Well, Helios is a good film, um, but I'm using Avery Dennison. <laughs> I just, I like Avery more. Um, it's just different strokes for different folks, I guess. Um, there's a little bit of, like, I don't know. Their films come from a couple of the different places, like, the, you're gonna get, at least you should, in theory, get a little bit better support out of Avery Dennison. So, you know, Avery Dennison, I think, guarantees up to like 200 a car. At least that's what they say. Where Helios, I don't think they can realistically do that, but they're like smaller local company, great customer service, and but they sell both too, so like, <laughs> it's a tough question to answer. Somebody's, oh. oh, somebody just left a really nice comment. I wanna take the time to read that real quick. Once I finish with this, this garbage here. We got it down, we got it in. We're gonna see if we got it clean. I think we're okay though. Does that mean we're done? Oh no, we got the quarters. Cool. So I'm having a good time. It's like, this makes my Monday swim by. Or else I'd be listening to like live streaming stuff all day. <laughs> and I'd wanna try and figure this out, so. Oh, I'm so glad this worked. The next one, I gotta wait till Friday. Like I think I'm more anxious to do another one of these. This is great. We got 57 on YouTube. How many? I, I haven't even tried to check Twitch stats. 42 on Facebook. Holy shit. It's great. Okay, Joe says, you were the first tinting video I ever saw and the primary reason I'm getting into the industry. Thank you, Matt, you've helped me so much. Bro, that's awesome. Thank you. Thank you for that. And you know, that's, some, that's one of the reasons I make like silly tinting videos too. It's like more people that gets exposed to like, hey, this is a thing. And then they start looking into the channel. So I don't know exactly how you found it, but that means a lot. Thank you. We want to see you do another car live. I have like two doors that are supposed to be here at one. So I don't know if that's actually going to happen. I can take a little bit of time though to answer some questions as long as they're not waiting on this car. Shaybird says, I like how you make everything simple. Just top load and go. Yeah, it doesn't have to be like crazy. Oh no, did I steal viewership from Pat? Oh, I don't want to do that. Guys, open up both. <laughs> I know if you're on your phones, it's tough to do. Throw them some love too though. Oh yeah. My wife did say something about him streaming on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> See, all right, this is the this is the streamer bullshit though. So like, how how like Twitch? You want to be the biggest on Twitch, but you want to game the same game everybody else, and you're all fighting for the same viewership. Oh, let's see. Somebody asked. Any reason you only give the film one pass, not two, or more to get water out, asking for a friend? Oh, I'm sure you're asking for yourself. Um, I put pressure, and I do go over it twice. Um, it, as long, if it goes good the first time, it's fine. I mean, I usually will go 
a little extra, but it depends on what it looks like. Like it, I, I'm using a 96 durometer squeegee anyways. Recently found out that. Well, thanks, man. Well, it looks like this turned out clean, so that's great. I got one stupid water finger popping up, though, so that's not cool. Because when it pops up water, that's the worst because it doesn't have a chance to dry. So you really have to like heat it up, try and sweep it, and then try and like hold it down. Unless it wants to like grab. Come on, Avery. I know you can grab. That looks better. Flat outs are awesome. I think it's like their most underrated squeegee. I'm just talking from my ass right now, but like as soon as people saw me use that, like I didn't see anybody use it and I picked it up. I was like, oh, this feels good. Let me use it. Cool. We don't want to kick that. God, this is, this is such a fun stream. Yeah, this is the cheapest heat gun. Well, minus the drill master. I've had the, this Wagner for a while and most heat guns are pretty disposable. So I don't know if you're, if you're budgeting for a heat gun, like from the, there's the Porter cable, there's the Milwaukee, there's the whole range of Wagner. They're all pretty much the, like they're, they're really not all, any of them are going to last longer than the other one. So, The, the Ferno, it feels a little bit like a toy compared to like the Porter Cable, but I don't know, like my Porter Cable died and I had two of those, so I just started using it again. And it's like, it's easy to pick up and it works fine. Jaybird said he bought squeegees for a dollar on AliExpress and sold them for 20. Nah. -uh. I don't, I don't believe it, but I do believe that you can buy, you can 100% buy squeegees that cheap, but they are not, they are not fusion squeegees. Not, not at all. I don't think fusion stuff is made in China. A lot of questions just came in. Um, I don't know. I'm not much of a car guy. Like, I think I think the coolness of cars has somewhat left. There's not many. Like the whole, I don't know. They used to make a lot of cool shit. No, they don't make as much anymore. <laughs> Nothing's that exciting. And even even like a Tesla, for as much of a tech nut as I am, I'm not even that excited about Tesla. I need to try a Steinel heat gun though. There I do say. I'll check that one out. Hey Matt. What's up? So you know your one o'clock is here. My one o'clock is here. Okay. They're like 15 early. Is this customer waiting? Is this customer waiting? No, I told you two hours, so they'll probably be back at one. Okay. All right. I was gonna say, we could pull in the front doors and I could do those quick. Uh, two doors and a strip. And a strip. Yeah. Oh, okay. All righty, that's fine. The strip kind of throws me off a little bit. Somebody just asked about why I don't do very many strips. Um, I don't know, you know, I've done so many more full windshields than strips lately. And I just, I, strips aren't that hard to do at all, but I just don't like them very much. But I don't like refuse them. Whenever somebody asks for one, I just do it. But there you go. Wagner Ferno. Whoa, I said that weird. Wagner Ferno. That one. Yeah, that's what I'm using. Small green squeegee. I need to get one. Uh oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> so this little green one that you're seeing for the quarters, this is just like one of those cheap Amazon squeegees. So Amazon, AliExpress, Alibaba. So I ordered a bunch of them off of Alibaba. Um, and they're just like cheap training squeegees, but the softness actually makes them really good for quarter windows. Like they're just super soft. Uh, Mio says, I prefer full windshield. Yeah, me too. 100%. I'd much rather do the full windshield, but there's just like two types of people. Ones that are very adamant about it, and ones that are like, oh, you can't do that. So, most of the people that are like on the other side of the fence just get a strip. You tell them about the full windshield. A lot of them aren't ready for it. <laughs> Um, so the white strips, that's, uh, that's my own little thing. I call it glass aid. Um, it's a cut resistant strip, so it's 10 mils thick. You can cut directly on it. Um, just helps against scratches and shit like that. So use it as a precaution. And the fact that it's white is actually just awesomely helpful. So you don't need to put a light on the inside, but you can find it at certifiedtinner.com. I have it in the store there. It needs to give it its own website, but I've, I've been too distracted with live streaming and it's awesome. I, it doesn't have a page. It doesn't have a presence. It's got awesome branding from Carrie. Shout out to her from Iron Duck. So if you want some awesome logos, hit her up. But yeah, I haven't like, I don't know. It's just, I use it in the stream. I'm not much of a product guy. So like if you see it and you like it, cool. It helps support everything. But if not, then I'm not gonna cry about it. <laughs> I got enough other cars to tint. And streams to stream. Oh, we're gonna have to be ending soon too. It's sad, it's such a good one. Even with the car dying, we had no Fs today. So no, no dead windows, but that's a good thing. We don't want to fuck up any windows. And that's pretty much it. We are installed. Probably a little bit of touch up. So I'm gonna go over it and then we're gonna wipe it down. And I got my other appointment here, my last appointment of the day. So I can try and answer a couple questions, but I gotta, I gotta take off. Um, in my country, the front doors are illegal too. Same for the windshield. But here in Michigan, we have a medical, like a medical clause. So if you uh, get a doctor's note or something, you legally can have it on your front doors, but they don't ever check shops for that. It's kind of like going into a store and buying neon lights for your car. Like they, they tell you how to put them on your car. They show you where they're supposed to go. And then they say, hey, these are technically illegal in some states. Same thing for window tinting. Um, as far as darkness on windshields go, I don't like to install anything darker than a 35, and I usually don't. Majority of the time I refuse. I've done a couple. Just dangerous. Tint responsibly. But, you know, you got everybody else installing five on the front doors, so that's that's pretty dangerous too. All your lights reflect off of it. You can't see shit out of the sides. I put five on my front doors for like literally a minute. Tim Fisher says there's a lot of people that have tinted windshields where he is, right over the inspection stickers. Yeah, yeah, some people just don't care. A black windshield looks killer. Yeah, it looks good. You can achieve the same look with 20 though. 35 is a little bit light for it, but it works really, really well. 35 cuts out actual glare. 
which is nice. Lighter than that hasn't really done much for me. Maybe 40, but I'm splitting hairs at that point. All right, so I got one little side dealy. It's like right against... It's like right against this uh, little paneling, so it's collecting water, so you just have to be patient, unless you can like suck all the water out of there. There we go. Kyle said the MK Brothers film didn't work well for you. Well, I said it was bad. <laughs> like, it's okay for practice, but like that stuff just did not feel good, and it was so blue. <laughs> So, I did not advise you to go buy it. I think I told people not to, and then I check my affiliate links, and then I see people buying it, and I'm like, why? It's so funny. You just bring attention to something, and people buy it, even if you tell them that, hey, this is a bad idea, avoid this. And then people still somehow, like, oh, hey, I have to buy that. I'm like, don't do it. Uh, who was it? Lexan. If you're shopping on Amazon for film, get Lexan. <sighs> Does carbon film fade over the years? It can, absolutely. Um, it shouldn't. <laughs> but there's like, there's other ways that it can fail. So, like, a lot of films like that can, uh, like, uh, bubble. Like, you know, it's cheap South Korean film or something like that or Chinese film, and uh, what am I trying to say? Adhesive, like you got a lot of other things to worry about too besides just the film fading. If it bubbles up, if the scratch coat fails, if, uh, if it peels, like there's a bunch of ways that it could fail, so. No film is gonna last forever. All right. Let's see, where are we at? So we're pretty much done with this car. Let's check some viewership. Facebook puts it on one side, YouTube puts it on the other. So Facebook, we're at 20, 28, neat. Anthony bought a 100 foot roll of Lexan 15. Cool. You'll like the coloring, it looks great. Shit, that reminds me, I gotta email them back. They shot me an email. We were supposed to do something sometime. But I, I'm not using them for like my regular installs. It's, the price sketches me out too much. Juan says, thanks for the stream, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you, Juan. Thank you for hanging out. I know you have been coming into quite a few of these. Appreciate you. Okay, so I believe I'm all done with this. Uh, just the chargers on the battery, but they got something that they're doing right now. So uh, it's gonna be a minute actually before I can get this car out. So give me a second. Let me put. Oh, this is this is live streaming here. <laughs> so. Ugh. All right. So what do we got? We got 16% on the GoPro. So we're pretty much done here, um, but I'll stay and answer questions. But let me just show you a quick wrap up though. Like that looks good. It all, this is my biggest concern, but it turned out really, really good. So that's awesome. Sides look good. This is on the outside. I should probably razor that off just to be nice. But yeah, everything looks really good on this. Just letting it charge for a little bit. And we still got battery on the GoPro. So that's awesome. Oh, somebody Facebook question. Cool. <laughs> uh, what's the idea? What's the idea of tinning if you don't do the front doors um, and the front windscreen? Ninety percent, ninety-eight percent of my driving is only me and my wife. Yeah, um, that's a good question. So I don't know. Legality usually comes to mind. There's a lot of, they're not a ton, but every once in a while, I get people that just want the back um, because they have kids. So they want tint on the front, but they don't want to get a ticket. Here in the state of Michigan, 
the just the flat out legal is nothing on the front and dark as you want on the back so that's an easy way to do it but if you have a doctor's snow you can print the front doors and the windshield uh, looks like they're gonna get stuff out now so we're gonna end in a minute but thanks for the question um, weird people <laughs> Uh, what's your shop called? So this is called Symbol Auto Glass. This isn't my shop. Um, I don't have my own shop yet, but hopefully we'll have a garage soon. The wrapper says, hey, hope you're doing well. Oh, it's the wrapper. Oh, wait, I gotta check too. Where's my... Did anybody super chat? If I miss a super chat, I'm horribly sorry. No, no super chats. Okay. Screw you guys then. <laughs> um, the wrapper. I checked out your channel, believe it or not. Um... Yeah, you have recent time lapses. I think YouTube's unfair. Um, I saw you doing like full uh, fenders and stuff like that with uh, with a GoPro, like start to finish. I, I that that kind of stuff I think is awesome. Um, I got some people. But yeah, I don't know. I, I, I don't like how YouTube, like, it's really hard to get viewership up in, like, tent and vinyl and stuff like that. Um, even on channels with, like, large amounts of subscribers, it's still difficult. But I really like the videos with, like, the GoPro and stuff like that. That's cool. The rapper from Twitch. No, the check out on YouTube, the rapper. He's got a vinyl wrapping channel. Um, it's been doing time lapses recently, but he's got some that are, um, like, a full fender start to finish and stuff like that. This stuff's super helpful. Okay, so we're gonna, I think we're gonna start this car up and then get going. So I'm probably gonna be a little impatient. No, yep, we're good. We're started. Um, Schreiber? Merry Christmas from Germany, thank you. I'm watching on Facebook, cool. Matt, Ryan asked, Matt, have you ever had any requests for photochromic window tint? Um, no, not really. I've looked into other types of window film, though. Um, like the, is that the rainbowy shit? That kind of stuff's super cool. But it would definitely get you pulled over here. But yeah, it was just cool. He's got like 10K, yeah, the rapper just got like 10K subscribers. So go throw him some love. Anybody that's that's trying to get into this field, like live streaming or just video and automotive aftermarket, like I'll shout you out 100%. Oh. Somebody was asking why I don't sell the bulldozer. I ran out of them. That's why. Everybody ordered them. And they're big. They're stupid to ship. I hate it. <laughs> they take up a big box. It's like the I have lots of little items. And it was like the only thing that took up a big box. But So for right now, I don't have it. I'm out of stock. But you can get them on Amazon with like prime shipping for like the same price. So it's hard to even care to carry that. Uh... Alrighty. Well, all good things must come to an end. So... Alright. So we're gonna have to end things now. I gotta get this out. I gotta get the next one in. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, one more thing. This is... This is the... The, the final result. Looks good. 20%. Avery Dennison, appreciate y'all. Um, next live stream should be Friday. If I can do one on Thursday, I might do an extra one on Thursday. Um, I will be working on Thursday, so we'll see. But appreciate you guys. Um, and then next week too, we'll do one on Monday. So I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Merry Christmas, Tim, and everybody else. Ho, ho. And happy Hanukkah, too. Yesterday was the first day of Hanukkah, so, like, go celebrate that shit, too. <laughs>